Now let's solve this problem for associative memory. So let's assume that associative mapping is used, um, you know, by cache. And then these are the parameters given and some of the parameters are missing which we are supposed to find out. And here also assume the same thing that the memory is byte addressable. Byte addressable means one word equal to one byte. Under that assumption, let's solve this question. So first thing is main memory is given as 128 KB and cache is given as 16 KB and block size is given as so and so. Then they are asking about the tag size. So let's now write the uh, physical address. How to divide the physical address? Physical address is divided into two parts in case of associative. One is block offset and other is block number. That's it. Right? Nothing else. And now this uh, block offset is going to act as the tag. Sorry, block, block number is going to act as the tag. And block offset depends on size of the uh, block and this entire number of bits depend on size of the physical address, right? Now it is 128 KB, therefore it is going to be 17 bits, isn't it? 128 KB means 2 power 17, 128 K, right? So this entire thing is 17 bits, right? And then the block size is given as 256. So 256 bytes means uh, 2 power 8, which means this is going to be 8, right? then what is this uh, block number going to be? Block number is going to be 9 bits, isn't it? So check that. So this is going to be 17 and this is going to be 8. Therefore block number is going to be 17. So tag bits are going to be 9. So tag bits are 9 bits, tag size, right? And what about the tag directory? That depends on the tag directory size is actually the number of bits into the I mean the number of lines into number of tag bits per line isn't it then how many lines are there so we have to find out number of lines in the cache how can you find out the number of lines so cache size is 16 kb 16 k means 2 power 14 and block size is 256 256 means 2 power 8 then how much is this this number is going to be 2 power 6 which means 64 64 lines are present therefore it is 9 into 64 bits is the tag directory size got it so you please compare this number with the earlier question the same kinds of question the, the same question exactly we solved it for you know direct mapping now you'll find out that compared to direct mapping the number of bits in the tag are more here right and moreover the number of uh, you know uh, the number the size tag directory size is also more here and along with this, let's do one more thing. Let's find out even number of comparators required. Number of comparators required. So earlier in that question, you know, when we are talking about the direct mapping, the number of comparators were not required more. I mean, the number of comparators required were only one because I don't know where to go and compare. But here I don't know where to compare. Therefore, I have to compare with all the tags. So how many comparators are required at each phase the number of comparators required will be equal to the number of cache lines and with the more cache lines it is going to be too much isn't it check this in this case 64 cache lines are present therefore 64 comparators are required which is very high you know in case of uh, direct mapping it was only one but here it is uh, 64 uh, um, 64 comparators are required which is very high right that is why it is costly we get the freedom of placing the blocks anywhere but then along with that freedom we even get this cost right okay next one uh, 32 gb so 32 gb means it is 35 bits 2 power 35 32 gb means 2 power 35 right therefore this entire part is going to be 35 bits and then uh, block size is 1 KB. 1 KB means 10 bits. So how many bits is this? 25 bits is going to be the tag size. So tag size is going to be 25 bits, right? And what about the tag directory size? That depends on the number of lines. So how many number of lines are there? Cache size is, uh, you know, oh, so look at this. Cache size is 32 KB and the block size is 1 KB. Therefore, how many lines will be there in the cache? 32 lines, right? So the number of bits is 25 into 32 bits is the tag directory size. Got it? Okay. Now next one. Watch this one. Um, this one is saying that cache size is something and then block size is something. 
and tag bits are something okay this is interesting so tag bits are already given therefore in case of uh, you know this associative memory what will be tag bits tag bits are nothing but uh, uh, this is going to be funny now hmm? so in case of associative memory tag bits are uh, you know uh, nothing but the block number therefore block number is 7 bits and then uh, uh, you know this uh, block size is how much uh, 10 bits isn't it so block size is 10 bits and the block number is 7 bits therefore the total physical memory is going to be 17 bits physical address so what is the physical memory size so main memory size is going to be 128k 128kb it is funny because cache is given as 512kb but main memory size turned out to be 128kb it is funny so let's do one thing let's increase the cache bits right from uh, this one i let me increase to 17 now it might make sense now the number of bits tag bits is 17 did you understand the problem with the previous one earlier i have given only 7 bits here therefore what happened is 7 bits in tag is nothing but the number of bits in the block number the number of bits in the block number were 7 therefore number of blocks will be 2 power 7 128 right 128 blocks each of size 1 kb which is nothing but 128 kb but the cache is already given as 512 kb which is way higher than the main memory it never happens isn't it if the cache size is bigger than the main memory size there is no meaning at all the reason is even if you put everything that is present in main memory in the cache even you have some uh, you know parts left over some, some portion of it left over right and uh, what is the significance of that right you will you know you need you can completely avoid main memory and you can directly load um, you know whatever you want from the secondary to the cache okay anyway let's go with 17 then what happens here is 17 bits is the tag therefore block number is going to be 2 power 17 right so completely it is going to be 27 right then 2 power 27 is the size of the main memory and what is the main memory size main memory size is uh, hmm, 7 means 128 mb so where is it here right so 128 mb is the main memory uh, size right okay so main memory size is 128 mb and uh, here it is already given right then tag directories you can find it easily so 512 is the number of lines in the tag number of lines in the cache so 512 into 17 bits is the tag directory size oh we forgot to find out the comparators so how many comparators are there here so number of number of comparators are equal to the number of tag you know lines in the cache so how many number of lines are there in the cache cache contains 32 kb and size of each block is 1 kb therefore number of lines is 32 32 lines are present in the cache right therefore comparators required are 32 now what about here yes 512 lines are present in the cache therefore 512 very huge right so 512 comparators are required isn't it now what about this thing, this one so next one is uh, yeah main memory is 16 gb and the block size is uh, 4 kb tag size is so and so then they are asking about the tag directory so if the cache size is not given how could we find out here we can never find out the cache size because you know uh, from using the physical memory we can never guess how many number of bits are there see earlier in the earlier question we could actually we could actually guess you know how many lines were there but now uh, the physical memory does not contain any part about the number of lines or any information about the cache at all see physical address doesn't contain any information about the cache it contains completely about the main memory the block offset and the block number you know there is no part of cache therefore we cannot guess the cache size so if the main memory size is 16 gb right and the tag size is uh, 10 hmm, interesting so it is not possible let me change the question the reason i am changing the question is this see if the main memory size is 16 gb and the block size is 4 kb i don't think that 10 bits will be the tag size the reason is if i have 16 gb main memory then it is going to be 34 isn't it 
if i have 16 gb main memory then the number of bits here is going to be 34 right and if i have 10 bits as tag which means block number is going to be 10 bits and 4 kb as the block size then it is going to be 12 bits which is nothing but 22 right but it has to be 34 right so let me change it so let me change it appropriately let me change the question completely hmm? instead of asking this Okay, instead of asking this, I'll ask the tags only, right? Huh. Now let's do this. So now main memory size is 16 GB, which means number of bits present here is 34 and the block size is 4 KB. Therefore, number of bits present here is 12. Then how many bits will be present in the tag? 34 minus 12, it is 22, right? Therefore, number of bits present in the tag is 22. And what about the cache size? Cache size, I cannot guess it, isn't it? I have no clue about it. So cache size uh, cannot be guessed which means it can be any size and depending on this you know we can we have to derive it therefore we can't guess it. Got it? Okay and now yeah this one we could say so 64 MB is the uh, ma main memory therefore how many bits are there in the physical address if it is 64 MB it is 26 bits isn't it? it is 26 bits is there in the physical address and then 10 bits are given to the tag which means block number is going to be 10 bits then how many bits are going to be block offset 16 bits therefore what is the block size block size is 2 power 16 64 kb is the block size 64 kb is the block size this one i can guess right but then I cannot guess what will be the cache size because cache size can be anything by looking at the physical address there is no way I can guess the uh, anything about this uh, you know cache in in case of associative memory right so it could be anything right and what about this here also I can't guess because I don't know what is the size of the cache unless I do I know the cache of the size I so unless I know the size of the cache, I cannot derive the number of lines. So without number of lines, I cannot derive the uh, tag directory, right? And what about this comparators? Yes, comparators also depend on number of lines. So unless I know the cache size, I cannot find out the, you know, uh, size number of lines. Therefore, this one also I cannot guess. This one also I cannot guess, isn't it? Okay, next one is cache size is given, okay? and tag bits are given now how can i find out the main memory size and block size this is also not possible the reason is if the cache if the tag lines are given which means i know only about this this part right see the tag size is given i know only about this part right and uh, i cannot guess what could be the block offset unless you know the block offset you cannot guess the main memory right so it is not possible so guessing the main memory is not possible i mean finding the main memory is not possible and finding out this is not possible right and uh, without this block size i cannot find out the number of lines therefore without finding out the number of lines i'll not be able to find out the tag directory size are you following it see it is only tag bits is uh, only tag size is given which means i can find out the number of blocks in the main memory but then without the size of each block i cannot guess the total size of the main memory that is first thing and second thing is given the cache size without having the block size i'll not be able to find out the number of lines and without finding the number of lines i'll not be able to find out either the comparators required or this one got it okay so one thing you could observe is if you observe these problems the number of comparators required is too high right so uh, you know this uh, direct is too restrictive in the sense there is no freedom at all in the direct uh, any block any main memory block has to directly go into uh, you know one particular cache line there is no freedom at all but uh, you know coming to associate there is lot of freedom freedom is lot but then the cost is very high right which means the number of comparators are going to increase right in general in our normal day-to-day -day computers there will be at least 512 uh, cache lines now we have 512 cache lines then how many comparators are required 512 comparators on one chip imagine it one chip has to contain cpu and the cache and 512 comparators it is going to be very very costly right 
than what people thought is okay uh, so when we have uh, it is like this let us say you are free to live anywhere in the world you are free right then what happens you know you can be you will you will roam throughout the throughout india let us say you are free to live anywhere in india now in order to search you we have to search every place isn't it but now if we could somehow know that you are free to live anywhere but then within one state then the searching is going to be less isn't it see earlier let us say there is a restriction that you have to live in only one house at only one place then you know it was too restrictive you cannot move out of that place but then finding you is easy for me right but then uh, let us say i have you know, i have taken out that restriction and i told you that you could live anywhere in india but then you got the freedom but what happens in order to search you i have to search entire india or if i have a letter for you i have to roam entire india right at least i want a uh, you know uh, what can i say a trade off this means i'll give you freedom but i i want to find you fast so then i let us say i have have put a restriction on you saying that you are free to live anywhere in one state then finding you is easy right and that is how set of society works set of society works this way so you are actually you know direct says that you are only supposed to live in one one, one house right and then associative says that you can live anywhere because of that i have to search everywhere that is why comparisons is going to be high right now what i do is i'll divide this country into states right like this some states and then i'll say that i'll say that every block is supposed to map into one of these states and in this state you are free it is a combination which means now like earlier earlier every ma every main memory block was restricted to get into only one particular line of the cache now i'll divide the lines of the cache into something called as sets sets and then i'll restrict that any particular uh, you know uh, main memory block should first map into one of the sets and once it has you know it is mapped into a set inside that set it is uh, free to move anywhere inside that set let us say i put the restriction that it can be present anywhere if i use that that is called as set associative what is the advantage of set associative is now we need not search in all the lines for a given block we have to go and search only in that set in which it might be probably present right now let us say every set contains four lines then how many comparisons are required or how many comparators are required if any block is present then that particular block will be present only in one particular set therefore i might have to search only at four four lines therefore how many comparators are required just four comparators right now if i if every set is containing four blocks four you know cache lines that is called as four way set associative got it okay anyway we shall talk about set associative now right before that we shall we shall see you know one more uh, thing here coming to this associative memory you know uh, the page replacement algorithms are important page replacement means here you know the same as uh, that um, block replacement algorithms so let us say all the blocks are full then if you have to get one more block which one are you going to replace that depends on same parameters as page replacement like uh, fifo first in first out lru most recently used or optimal whatever right i think i'm going to leave it to you you can easily find out right or maybe if you want me to show one example i'll show it okay fine let's do one thing i'll show one example about how the page replacement algorithms or block replacement algorithms are going to work uh, in case of this associative mapping and then we shall go into etc associative mapping okay fine